Which, where are you going? You can't even make it up this hill. This is like the early days of DARPA. Perfect. That's oh, it's good. No, it's solid. It's solid. That's 10 out of 10. What's up guys, my name is Count, and we're back today in Logic Bots and I'm super excited because we're finally getting into some really cool stuff and I'm actually like really getting back into this game, like I'm really starting to enjoy it again. Um, I mean, I took a break there and I was really busy with the scrap mechanic stuff, but uh, you know, I, I really like Logic Bots. It's, it's a little bit more difficult than scrap mechanic and uh, the tasks are just so much fun. We're getting into the military now, we've, uh, we've done all the college stuff, I mean I'm not gonna get all the achievements because I don't really care, and then uh, all the industrial stuff, coincidentally getting more achievements than the college um but then we're now into the military and now we're getting into the cool stuff the terrain is a bit different now and uh, we're going to start off with gps navigation build a logic box to navigate all five gps points and then return to the starting position which is gps point zero okay complete the level in one minute or less complete the level with robot cost of 960 or less complete the level using eight or less gates in your logic box circuit board well, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to, uh, we'll see how, if we can do that eight or less gates. That's going to be a tough one. But uh, what's the level here? Okay, so we got to go, we start here. It's just zero, apparently. Then we go zero, one, two. Is that two? That's two. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay, so th this is actually, you know, not too bad. Um, I think I know how to do it because everything's got a direct line of sight. You can see here from zero, we can, we can see one. So all we need to do is have a, the robot kind of turn, line itself up, and then, you know, drive forward. And then turn, line itself up, drive forward. And to save some gates, we we can have it just always turn in the same direction. So if it's not on the right path, then it'll just like stop and rotate, you know, to the right or to the left until it does a full circle and gets back on the path. It won't be as fast, and uh, it's definitely not as efficient, but I think doing that, we'll be able to get the eight gate achievement no problem. So... Let's, uh, let's go try building something here. Well, the motors are more powerful than the spider tech, so you know, let's go with that. So let's just, let's just try the spider tech. We haven't, we haven't built something with this yet. Um, we'll put some snap lines on it, I think. So we'll just add a snap line. Okay, uh, see, I hate how the wheels are positioned on this one, but it, you know, it is what it is. All right, and then another one, just like this, and then we'll put the wheels down. That's the left motor. And this one's the right motor, I think. Did I get that right? Yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got that. Um, can I we'll just hide these snap lines because they're very violent there. Okay. And uh, then what do we have for sensors? We have, oh, just the GPS receiver. Okay, so how does, well, I guess we'll just put that down in the middle. How does it work though? What does it, what does it do? I haven't actually figured out anything. So it puts the direction and distance of the current GPS location relative to its current position. Okay, how does it how does it actually do that though is the question. So let's go to the circuit board here. Uh, we've only got a GPS. Okay, so it's got waypoint number, direction, distance. Oh, okay, okay. So you have to set the waypoint number, I guess. So it's gonna be waypoint zero is gonna be where we're at, and then direction is um, uh, you know, let's just put some monitors on this stuff and see what it looks like. You know, let's go with blue wires today. Okay, so waypoint we're gonna input from there and we're gonna pass it through. Oh, that blue is terrible. You can't even see that. Okay. Can't really see the yellow very well either. Well, you know what? We're going with yellow. So, if we start, it's, okay, it's outputting distance of 0.18. Oh, because we're distance to waypoint zero. I see. Okay, so we're 0.18 from waypoint zero, and direction is, yeah, okay, so that makes no sense. So, we got to... We gotta change the waypoints. We have to change the number there. So let's just put a static value gate for now. We're gonna have to put like an incrementer of some kind, but let's just set that to one. Yeah, okay, so waypoint one is distance of 15 meters, I guess, which, yeah, that kind of makes sense, and a direction of 38. So I'm assuming that's like 38 degrees. Okay, so this is actually, this is actually gonna be pretty easy. So all we need to do, uh, we need a counter first. So what do we got for counters? A counter, well, okay, that's, I guess that's a counter. Perfect. Okay, and then when we start, we need it to reset. So start pulse. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult. It has to go back to zero and eight gates, right? Eight gates. So we need a counter no matter what. Okay. This is this is actually gonna be tough to do with eight gates, I think. But let's see what we can do here. Counter. Like so. So that's the input. Okay. No matter what, the motors are always on, right? So that's that's the first step. Motors are both always on. 
So like so. So that's one gate there. So we're up to two gates so far. Okay. Now, if the we need a, a logical check, which is a less than or a greater than, we need we need it to actually really check two. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Okay, so if the distance, where's my distance? Distance is less than like zero. No, it wouldn't be zero. Less than like, I don't know, a static value of probably 0 0.5, 0 0.2, let's say. 0.3 maybe. If that's less than 0.3, then you can increment to the next waypoint. The angle needs to be split because we need to have it within a certain tolerance. So I have a splitter here. I do have a splitter. Okay, perfect. So we take the angle and we split this and it goes against two comparisons. So if the angle is less than one value or greater than another, if it's less than negative three, you can reverse the right motor direction. And I mean, other than this, this might get screwy, but I mean, let's, okay, hold on. We need some wheels on this thing. Some guide, no, guide wheels here. Caster ball at the front and a caster ball at the back. See, that's why I don't like the spider body because you need a one wheel on either side and it kind of rocks back and forth, but. Okay, well, so far it's getting jiggy with it. This is this is going so well. I'm so optimistic for the future of, of robots in this society. What are you? Why aren't you? Okay, distance is your waypoint set to one. It's the angle it doesn't like. So what's it? What's okay? So what's it doing on the angle? The problem is the direction shifts, right? So see how it's 30 degrees, zero, right? And it it kind of it's it's goes from positive to negative if it stayed between 0 and 360 it would be a little bit easier but it goes between negative 180 and positive 180 and that's kind of causing the problem because i need it to rotate when the angle is off by a certain amount of degrees if the direction is less than a static value of let's say three degrees right then let's reverse the uh, right motor, okay? And that'll rotate it back to the right. See, but now the problem is the direction's positive, so you can see it's slowly veering off, and then it hits three degrees, but then now it gets up to like 120, and you know, it's still, it's fine with that, right? So now it's just driving off into the wilderness. I mean, maybe it'll eventually loop over there, but it should be turning itself and going straight. Now, if I use two more gates, this would be really easy. Then you have another condition that says, you know, greater than, and it'll keep itself centered between those two. Um, but obviously I don't know this robot. Oh boy. Which, where are you going? You can't even make it up this hill. This is like the early days of DARPA. Perfect. Oh, it's, it's good. No, it's solid. That's solid. That's 10 out of 10. Okay, so here's here's the example, right? I'll just I'll just show you how to do this if we're gonna do this legit. So all we do, right? If we want to just do this really simply, we just take the signal splitter, okay, and we split the direction signal, and we have two conditions, right? And we'll do a greater than and a less than, and then we have a static value, okay? And on the one side we say it's less than, and on the other side we say it's greater than, and then we put our two static values here right and we say on the one side if it's less than uh, z let's say a neg uh, zero degrees so it's in the negative that's probably actually pretty good and if it's greater than uh, not zero we're gonna give it like a 0. 0.5 and actually probably just a negative 0. 0.5 right something like that and if it's less than then we need to turn it back to the right and if it's greater than we need to turn it to the left and I think this will just work. Oh, it's going the wrong, it's, oh no, it's going, I have that backwards. I believe. Whoops, I don't, I don't want to, I want to, okay, sure. Lightning bolt. Okay. See, now it's, now it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna get jiggy with it. I mean, we can, we can increase this threshold from 0.5, let's say negative two. Negative two. Okay, no, this is perfect. Negative, no, oh, good. Negative two, and let's go, you know, positive two. Right, just give it a little bit more threshold, and uh, you see now it'll drive faster, right? Because it's keeping itself between negative two degrees and positive two degrees. So it, it does that, no problem, but that uses 10 gates. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna complete it. When it gets to one, it's gonna flip the, the bit over. Is it, 
You gonna flip the bit? Nice. See, and it gets to there, and then it versus the bit. This thing's terrible at driving up hills. This has like zero traction on the hills. What the? You can't even. You can't even. This is pathetic. Okay, the robot design needs work, but you can see, you know, it works on a very simple principle, right? We split the signal in the direction we say, okay, if it's if it's too much to the one side, turn the one way, and if it's too much to the other side, turn the other way, and you see it'll just snap to the position it wants to be at, and uh, problem solved. But this uses more than eight gates, and it has to use more than eight gates because you need the gate that says, okay, when you get to signal five, waypoint five, you actually have to reset to waypoint zero. And so you need a gate there that checks to say, okay, you're at waypoint five, reset to waypoint zero. See, it's four, problem solved. Let me go to five here. This this robot design needs so much improvement. I think we can get the time achievement though. I mean, the, oh, time goal is one minute. Okay, so we need a faster robot. But see, this doesn't get that, that final achievement, which is the one I really want in all the challenges. It's like the most difficult, it's always the unique one. And uh, see, it works, no problem. Oh, we got that? But I used 10 gates. What? How did I get that using 10 gates? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8 or less. 10. Functional gates compares to what? Did I Okay. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it. I'm very curious how you're supposed to get the time achievement if it's not with some terrible looking robot like this. The the wide wheels are slower. It's more mass to move this is the fastest motor body the other body with four-wheel drive didn't work i don't think there's a better way to program this because this is really as direct as possible it's turning in the shortest direction to always line up at the next waypoint and then just moving straight i mean i really don't know how to do this someone's gonna be like all right you're stupid you're just supposed to do this that or whatever but yeah uh, yeah if you guys know how to do this make sure you post that in the comments down below and uh i'm definitely gonna try and do this off camera and try to do it for myself, but I can't I can't beat that one minute mark. I just I don't know how to do it. Maybe maybe I have to be on time warp. Maybe that's the problem. I'm not on time warp. Nope. See it's not it's still not gonna get that one minute time goal. But yeah make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below how you beat this one minute. I mean we still beat it. We did get the glitched achievement but I'm okay with that. Uh, there is another GPS navigation course so maybe we can redeem ourselves on that next one. But uh, make sure you guys post down in the comments down below if you like this series. And make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, it definitely is super awesome, this game. I'm really, really a big fan of it. But oh, see this GPS looks a little bit more difficult. We gotta go, you know, around here and dodge some stuff. So definitely gonna be more exciting stuff coming up. So uh, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all next time.